Hi everybody, Tom Sigler with Citrion here. Just want to walk you through uh, what a Citrion One Micro App looks like with our new SharePoint connector. Now I've been using this platform for a little while now, and um, you know I still remember the first time I saw, uh, you know, how quickly you could create an SAP-based uh, mobile application using this platform, and I was just really amazed by, you know, how little time you needed to go from concept all the way through having a functioning mobile app um, on a mobile device. Now, you know, with the SharePoint connector, I'm, I'm really excited to see you know, that taken to uh, you know, a whole other level because I feel that inherently, SharePoint provides a, a really rich tool set to build uh, user-developed applications. Um, and, and when you think about how easy it is to create a list and you know, set up all the properties and fields that you need for that app, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just so quick to, to provide business value. And I feel like being able to leverage that from a mobile application is really going to change the mobile landscape for a lot of organizations. I mean, it just gives you this whole new level of agility and being able to meet mobile needs and requirements. Um, and you know, just to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about here, what I'm going to do is walk you through a sample project that I've, I've created using our connector. And um, you know, this took me about an hour to put together. Um, I would say about you know 80% of the time was spent just doing basic configuration and drag and drop uh, uh, designing of the screens, um, and then about 20% of that time was spent doing some actual code. So let me kind of walk you through what this looks like. Um, what I did first of all though is is I did create an out of the box SharePoint contacts list, and you know just threw a couple lines of sample data in there. Uh, and how I wanted this to work, um, so I wanted to have a couple of different uh, interfaces uh, that would be a part of this app. Now the first of which, if you look down here in my screens uh, section, is um, I have one screen called My Team and one called Colleague Detail. So on the My Team screen, what I wanted to do is be able to show you know, all the list items from that contacts list and then have the user be able to tap on one of those individual items and have it take them to a more detailed view where they could see all the full contact details and also be able to just call that person right from the device. Um, so in order to support that, I did have to create a couple of different service methods in, in my uh, team service here. Uh, and the first service method that I stood up was this get team method that returns back a team array. And uh, again, this is going to show or bring back uh, the entire list of contacts in that contact list. And then I had one other service method I, I put here, which is the uh, get colleague service method, which accepts a single contact ID parameter. This is what I'm going to use to uh, be able to let the service method know, you know what list item to bring back. And um, you know, with the return types I configured with these, I did have to set these up as data types here. Um, and uh, there was two I needed. There's the team data type, which brings back, uh, again, the list of contacts, their name, title, and their unique identifier. And then I also have this colleague object I created, which has the more detailed information about you know, each specific contact. Now, um, when I was setting up these screens, uh, again, this is all very much based on just drag and drop capability. You see I have my toolbox over here on the left side. And what I've done is I've taken the list control here and I just dragged and dropped that over into our content section in the screen designer. So see, uh, you see here we do have the list control um, and when I'm setting up the data binding, all I really have to do is come over here into the uh, list properties. There's an item source property here where I'm able to come in and select uh, you know, the return that I'm gonna use um, to, to populate that list. Uh, I did add a formatted control that lets the app know, you know how to format uh, you know, each of those list items. And again, this is just you know, configuration, right? I'm adding a text entry and I'm binding it to, for example, here I'm binding uh, the name value uh, from my service method and then also uh, the title property here. Um, last, uh, lastly, on this interface, uh, it, you know, I did also add the navigate action. Uh, again, this is just another uh, tool that's in my toolbox over here. Um, you see, I got the screen navigation. Um, and what I do here is that once I've set up the detailed view of the colleagues, 
uh, and I add this navigate uh, control to um, the list, it lets the app know that when a user taps on an individual list item that I'm going to target this colleague detail screen. And so when I go over to this colleague detail screen, what I've done is I've set up uh, a number of label controls and have done some very kind of basic data binding. So for example, here you'll see on this, uh, on this label, I added a little bit of text title uh, and then um, have bound the return from the get colleague service method uh, and return that title property. So essentially I've gone through it, you know, I've added all these labels um, and then I've also added uh, this call phone action. And this is what's going to allow me to interface directly with the OS and uh, instantiate a new phone call based on the phone number I'm bringing back from the contacts list. You know, I could do that for email, you know, I could, I could um, you know, uh, leverage any other part of the OS that I really want to that's enabled through this toolbox. So really cool uh, uh, kind of configuration capability that we have here. Um, just to show you what the service method looks like, that's very minimal code that I had to uh, to write to get this all kind of wired up. Um, essentially, what I had to build here is is part of the service layer for my get colleague method. For example, again, here I am passing in the contact ID. I uh, instantiate my SharePoint function and set up all the properties. So my camel query here, for example, um, where I'm using string format to build my camel query. Um, but I can also set up you know, what fields I'm returning back as part of my, my SharePoint operation. And this is really important from a mobile application perspective because um, you know, a lot of times you have to be aware of how much data you're passing back and forth over the wire. And so what this allows you to do is just very specifically pick what fields you want to bring back as part of your service call. Now once I get back the data from SharePoint, uh, you know, what I'm going to do is populate my colleague object with all the data that I brought back from SharePoint. Um, and again, you know, just very straightforward, not a ton of code we had to throw together to make this all kind of work. Just to give you an idea what this would look like, when I click start to uh, run the debugger, what I'm actually doing is I'm, I'm firing up our emulator here. So this is going to simulate what the application will look like on an actual device. So you see here I've got a couple rows of sample data, I'm able to click on one of those and then bring up all that detail view. Um, and then also have uh, you know the button that will allow me to just call directly from that specific app interface. Um, so all said and done, like I said, this took about an hour. Um, our SharePoint connector does support all all CRUD operations, so you'll be able to create, read, you know, update, delete, um, and we will be uh, you know building out this connector um, as it matures. So I mean, you can imagine things coming online, uh, for example, like profile capabilities. So being able to query you know, the SharePoint profiles, um, you know, we also be providing uh, uh, you know some of the social capabilities, for example. Um, but again, I'm very excited about. Uh, uh, what companies are going to use this for and, and how it's going to enable them to just quickly be able to provide uh, you know, those mobile capabilities. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye out on our Citreon.com blog. I'm going to be publishing information as we release uh, new capabilities with our connectors. Uh, if you do have any specific capabilities that you'd like to see included in our connectors, by all means, just feel free to reach out to me.